State health leaders recently issued recommendations for people to limit or eliminate eating some types of fish, specifically fish from a large part of the Cape Fear River. That's because testing show they are contaminated with toxic forever chemicals. WRAL climate change reporter Liz McLaughlin breaks down how this affects people living nearby. <laughs> There are a number of challenges to making sure people know about the risks of eating these fish. And some communities, particularly indigenous populations, say fishing is an important way for them to source food. Traditionally, we're hunter-gatherers, we're, we're fisher people, we live and we eat off the land. Members of the Tuscawar Nation say news of PFAS, or forever chemicals in fish, is cutting off a lifeline in their community. If the fish are contaminated, you're taking the ability for us to go out there and fish for food, you're taking that away from us. A fish consumption advisory released in July recommends that residents severely limit eating certain fish from the middle and lower Cape Fear, and that women of childbearing age and children should eliminate eating it altogether. And try to make the best decisions, you know, based on the information that we have. Nearly 300 fish were tested in the Cape Fear from Fayetteville to the mouth of the Atlantic, and all contained similar levels of the toxic chemicals. The health risks that we are pretty confident arise from exposure to PFAS are chronic diseases and effects on developing organisms. Fayetteville resident Mike Waters says he's an avid angler and taking the recommendations to heart. I'm not eating fish out of the river anymore. Um, and that's my choice, but I, it doesn't mean I'm not going to not eat fish. It just means I'm not going to eat it from a known contaminated area. State officials stress that the fish consumption advisory is a recommendation and that it only applies to certain fish species in certain parts of the river. DEQ is currently analyzing additional samples to determine if fish in other areas and other habitats, including saltwater, are also contaminated with forever chemicals.